in the picture, he's got darker and lighter areas of his tongue. So I'm going to add some ultramarine blue to cool it off. And especially where his mouth is in shade, and there's more cool tones. So I'm going to pick up some more ultramarine in my brush and work that into this area. And as I go, I let my brush get drier and drier so that the wettest part of this is the paper. Because if I add water into this, it's going to cauliflower out. So as your paper dries, you need to make sure that your paintbrush is getting drier and drier as well. So that you won't get any cauliflowering if you don't want it. Sometimes you do want it, and that's fine. See his tongue is really dark here in the shadows. It's got deeper red. Now I'm drawing off my brush because I do not want it to cauliflower at this point. But I do want to get a little bit of deeper red right in here. Looking very carefully at my original picture to make sure I'm getting this as close as I can to what it looks like in my picture. Okay, so this is dry. I am going to do the next layer. And the first thing I'm going to do, as usual, is just wet everything carefully. within the boundaries of the dog. Again, I'm going to wet everywhere because he has dark eyes and I've already used the mask to capture the glint in his eye, so I don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to continue on developing the tones and the colors in his fur and later I'll do the details of like his mouth and the harder edge areas so you start with doing the soft areas and then after all those are in then you can go back in and put in the hard edges like his collar and his, the lines of his jaw and his teeth and all that stuff I'm gonna get this pretty wet I'm getting a pretty good amount of moisture on my brush just so this will stay wet for a while so I can work with it. But not so wet that the water moves. Put extra little bit in his ears because those will dry out pretty fast. Okay. I'm going to go and get some burnt sienna to continue to develop his fur and the soft areas of fur on his nose. I'm scrubbing my brush in the burnt sienna and a little bit in the ultramarine and you can see kind of how dry I'm getting it because the next little part I don't want it to run too much. So right here in the corner of his eye and right here he has some darker areas on his nose. And I'm going to go back in and scrub out some of this that I'm putting in because 
There are some little light areas too. So I'll go back and work on those. Sometimes I, I purposely leave areas dark where I know I'm going to go back and scrub in because it's really a nice effect. It's very soft, very pleasing to the eye a lot of times. So um, I do like to put in these dark areas and then go back and scrub a little bit out. I'm going to blot the excess water out. Pick up a little red so I can do these ear areas while it's still moist. 